Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sharp Designs by Lakeisha, where I am designing my way through life and inspiring you to do the same. So today, I actually have an event to do. My friends are revealing the gender of their baby this weekend, so I'm doing some balloons for them. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. It's been quite some time since I've done some balloons due to corona. I took a complete break because I have the cold. I didn't wanna risk myself getting sick and us having to be separated. So I opted to not do any type of events whatsoever, but I'm slowly creeping back in, which is weird because even though things have opened back up, apparently things are now getting worse. All you can pretty much do at this point is stay safe. If you guys are event planners out there, still making it happen for people's events, just make sure that you are taking proper precautions to keep yourself safe. You know you have to do what's best for you and your family. So today I'm gonna get back out there. I have been hanging out with them um, during the whole situation because our daughters are BFFs, so it's nothing new for me to even be going to their house or anything like that because they've been doing the right thing. I've been doing the right thing so we know we've been keeping ourselves safe. So, But I'm so excited because they're revealing the gender of their baby and of course I am doing balloons. I wanted to do a little bit of pre-prep with you guys earlier um, this morning when I got up but I just started working and didn't vlog any but I'll show you guys. I've already packed up the car. As of right now I have one, two, three clusters left. Um, that I need to try to squeeze in my car. I didn't rent a van or, or anything because I'm just literally going maybe eight miles down the street from my neighborhood. So me and Dakota are about to be packed in there. And I mean, I've done this before. I've already had it planned out. When I leave out of my neighborhood, I'm going to the far left lane because I'm gonna be making a right and then a straight shot to their house. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the car here momentarily and then we're gonna start setting up. Cody, you wanna say hi? She is under. <laughs> my desk for some reason with my Cricut that I mentioned to you guys that I've never ever used. Say hi guys! Where you going? Where you going? You going to Harper House? You gonna see if Harper's having a baby sister or a baby brother? Alright guys, I managed to get out of my driveway. Just wanted to show you guys what we're working with. <laughs> I can't see my baby. You okay, Coda? Okay, we rolling guys. I'll check back in with you guys when we get there because I'm not about to drive like this. So this is all the stuff that I had jam-packed in my car. I had pre-put the two pieces of balloon garlands together. And what I'm going to be doing is using a 260 balloon that you can see that I have already attached here. If I can grab a hold of it. And I'm just going to do a figure eight on the other side and attach these two pieces together. And then I have that bag as well as another bag that has all of my clusters that I showed you guys how to make two vlogs ago to give your balloon garland dimension. This is how it looked once I got those two pieces attached right there with the 260 and I also went ahead and added a little bit more length to it. I'm going to show you guys how I did that here um, following this clip but I just wanted to give you guys an update because I forgot to start vlogging. <laughs> So if you've been hanging around with me on my channel for some time now, you already know how this process goes. Um, so what I'm basically doing now is blowing up balloons to continue adding length. I ran out of all the colors um, that I had in this particular color. And I'm using a variation of 11 and 18 inches in the Sempertex um, of the light pink to um, blow up here. Um, just in a few minutes you'll see um, I do do two different sizes at one time because I like to have a good organic feel so you'll see me put them on there at the same time but then I'll be releasing the 11 inch and I'm going to continue to blow up the 18 inch because I want that one to be a little bigger and as always I give it a gentle press to release some of the air and then I tie them together um, to keep from having to do redo that after I'm done um, and then I'm just going to do a few more of those and then add those on and see how many more I need of the other colors all right, so once I got all those pink ones blown up, as you can see, they're in different sizes. I'm gonna go ahead and attach them using my fishing line. And I am doing my figure eight method that I have showed you guys numerous times on my channel. Um, it's basically a simple um, trick. It does take a little bit of practice to get used to it and prevent yourself from having gaps, but it is totally doable. And um, if you are not familiar with the figure eight method or this is your first time here, I do have a video where I show you guys in detail on several occasions um, how to do it. I think my best one, because I had so many angles, was the um, basic to designer. It was a purple color balloon garland on the 
photo for the video. I don't do my balloon garlands in that same method that I use, but it is perfect for seeing how to get the figure eight method down pack, if that's something that you do need help with. So once I got that last part of the garland done, I went ahead and added in my bag of clusters to give it all the dimension and get it nice and organic. Um, I had made a lot of them. This is what they look like. I showed you guys how to do this two vlogs ago in detail, um, how to get that variation of sizes, that perfect round shape, how to attach them, the materials needed. So if you haven't seen that vlog, you definitely want to check it out. So now that I have the garland all complete, it was time to get it hung. Um, as you guys can see, I am doing something different than you're used to seeing me do if you've been watching my vlogs. I typically um, only do the base of the garland and then I take all my fillers and do that last. But because this was going outside, the sun was coming and going. Um, if you're not familiar, the sun can definitely tear up your balloon garlands, all that hard work. It'll make your balloon start fading and popping. Um, and so I wanted to prevent that because they were using this as a backdrop for their gender reveal photos. Um, so I went ahead and pre-did everything inside, um, which is why I had to do so much adjusting once I got it up because I normally don't add in all my fillers and shape it until I get the base hung. Um, so this was a lot of back and forth, moving balloons around and trying to get them in the perfect um, spot that I thought was best for their pictures. Um, but it did end up coming out good. That's the wrap guys, she's all done. Give you guys a little closer view. As you can see when you're doing the garlands, um, when you do it, you can always readjust the balloons, which I had to do because of the way I had to hang it at the top. I didn't bring command hooks. I used about three of these 260 balloons and I attached them to those little things to keep the birds from making mess. One on that side, and then I used two on this side because it was kind of far away. So you guys can see that. Just going from there and then up there. That was it. Yep. Yeah. Why is this portrait so? You got it, sis. It's a girl. Hey guys, it is definitely like two days later. I didn't get to close out the vlog with you guys on the day of this vlog, so I wanted to come and give you guys a proper see you later. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy it. I know it was not as thorough as a lot of my other Set Up With Me vlogs are, but I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. It's been a while since I've done like a um, tag along vlog, but um, definitely look forward to some more in July. I have booked some events for July, which I think I'm going to be comfortable with going back out and starting doing it. Well, I have to be because I've already booked these events. So <laughs> I will definitely have a few Set Up With Me vlogs um, in July. And then if there are any tip, tips and tricks videos that you guys would like me to do a dedicated video for like the last two vlogs that I did during quarantine definitely comment down below if there's anything that you want to improve on 
that you would like me to focus on and do a vlog for. Um, but I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.